I'm Erika and I'm back this time with something different just to have a change. We'll be animating this tuna on a rocket. So the story of this little piece is I did it as a sticker for a friend of mine uh, and their company. So that's the logo, etc. And I thought, yeah, we're not. I'll be animating it sometime and some of you have been requesting um, that we did use the other expert scripts such as the illustrator script as well as the creator script etc so this time since I already had this file ready and it's more or less also um, ready <laughs> To be exported in spine we'll see how to do that and maybe how you can start uh, and see what i do to apply to your graphics especially if you're new with spine and the concept of animating itself also hi zebro and uh, hi to everyone else who just connected or not and i just know if he's okay here it is so now i can know Okay, and everything's all right. So as said, we have this dudes here and they had this big fat white counter uh, because it was needed for the sticker, but now we will get rid of this. So I can already delete this. Then also we don't need this or maybe yes, I'll leave it for now, probably hide it afterwards. Hi Fabiano! And so I already, when I did this, luckily, um, divided this in levels, which means that I have some of these parts. Ah, by the way, these are levels in Illustrator and not the things inside, because apparently not many people know. So when you export with the Illustrator script, um, this is, is, is what will get exported, uh, like every level will be flattened. Um, so if you don't put a graphic into a separate level, it's going to be um, meshed together. So that's something you have to pay attention to. I uh, already did mistakes in the past, so I know that for sure. And one fix that I should do is placing the logo on the body of the rocket here. So I'll have to create a group of all of this. Now it's a while, I've, I've not been using Illustrator much. So I won't be as fast as usual. <laughs> For example, I can do groups. Usually it's just control plus group, apparently not. Oh, maybe it's. I'll try to do it this way and let it be. So it will be trial and error because I honestly haven't been used, haven't been using the uh, Illustrator script in a while, but I remember things and I'm sure I'll get it to work and you can learn from my mistakes. So we'll do it this way. Uh, as said, I got these inside this level here. So that now we have the rocket as a separate piece. Then I probably want to separate the eyes so that I can animate them. That would be fun. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe I could have a separate the separate white part and then leave a hole for the red part and have the pupils as a separate part as well so that I can move the eyes of the rocket dude separately. I don't know if I also want... No, I don't want... Uh, I'll keep this as a single piece but then I'll separate these parts here so that I can give a little bit of three-dimensionality um, famous 2.5D uh, effect to it. Um, what else? We'll also need to separate the eye here, then I'll have to uh, cut in some way 
here the or do I really? No, I probably can just uh, separate the red part here of the mouth so that I can open and close the expressions. Now without the rocket, it looks like this, uh, my mistake. I have to fix this stuff because in case he's bouncing up and down, people are going to see it. And I know you do these things in your files too, so. <laughs> also, hi Julia, hi Juliet. Cool, new people, hi to everybody. Uh, what else? As I was saying, I'll probably separate the fin as well here in the back so I can make it, I can have more control. Well, this was perfectly fine for printing. Now we're going to get it ready um, for animation, I said. I'm just repeating for anyone who might have just connected. So I'm going to do that. As said, the major level is the one that it's going to be exported, so I'll have to take some things out of this. Also, in order to get the level that uh, the script will uh, go and reach the script and then show review, so it's for sure in here, and I'm going to share the link in the chat room so you can download it as well. So I'll go to the usual Photoshop to spine page, uh, the spine script page. <laughs> and here we have the Illustrator script. And that's where you can download the latest version. Also here's, there's some nice installing um, instructions. So that's how you can launch it, script, other script, like that. And then you select the script. Since I'm not sure that I have it, I'll download it right now. So I'll save the destination as name. Where is the, oh, okay. Yay, personal stuff. <laughs> you almost saw my new collection of pictures. And, okay. I'm just getting it ready to, to be, uh, let's see, I'll just call it Illustrator. Okay, I just created a folder for the occasion. So what we have to pay attention to, I said I clicked save as the destination is name uh, here. And then I have to make sure that the ending of this is JSX. Otherwise I'll be saving the HTML page, which I don't want and you don't either and save. Now, once we have that, can get rid of this page for now. We'll go to file, script, other script, and then I can search for that script, which I had in Illustrator. Yeah, that's the one. And that's how you launch it, double click. And here you have the script. So the script is a much simpler version of the Photoshop one, but it works nonetheless, it works perfectly fine. I've tried it. Um, uh, probably there aren't rulers in this, but still. So you can output the images to a chosen directory, choose a scale, hide some layers, write template PNG, just like the old version of the Photoshop file. Clear art output directory means that it deletes the files if you're re-exporting again. Write spine JSON is something we want if you want to export the spine. And then in the help you see that uh, if you have, ah yeah, you can create uh, an output directory relative to the file which in this case it is, because it has the same start. And then you can ignore some files, just like in the Photoshop script, by adding this prefix to the layer name. I'm not going to ignore layers, I'm just going to brutally delete them, because yes, so I won't need that. But this is where we'll end up once we finish the file. And I'll also have to resave this file, or not, no, no, no. I have to resave it in a proper directory. So here it is. 
Okay, I didn't save that, which is good. I'll try to save it like that. Yeah. This is actually a good place. So I'll call it Tona, which means tuna, or I'll just call it tuna rocket. Tuna rocket spine. There. Then I enter and then I call this tuna rocket spine again because I have no fantasy or just tuna rocket. Twitch tuna rocket because I'm doing it on Twitch. And I press OK. Uh, yeah, illustrator CC, I don't know. Whatever. OK. Then I saved it. And now. Uh, I have my beautiful. Oh, why do my personal stuff keep getting open and do? Okay, now you can see it as well. <laughs> if I'm able to move that. Okay, great. So it's here. Tuna rocket spine. Here I have my file, and here will be exported everything, and we'll work from that to create the spine file, the JSON, the um, images, okay? So it will be in here. And now I'll, I'll finish preparing these files for using spine. So at least on this I have already a good point of start, starting point, which is not bad. And I'm going to separate these pieces what was this? Yeah, that's the frontal, um, can you call it Paul? Well, uh, I don't need two copies of this, but I'll probably duplicate it afterwards when I'm in spine. Uh, as always, uh, it's not the best to have something like that it's um, curved instead of straight, because it's harder to um, animate in spine. So maybe I'll change it or I'll make an alternate version of that. So I can do it like this. Hmm. That's always a problem. Okay. So I'll call this fin2. I'll also turn the names to English. Yeah, that's Twitch to the rocket. So fin2, and I'm going to copy the contents from this fin. Yeah, it's selected, great. Then I go here and paste them in place. Yeah, I did it. It's come from mm, shift. Yeah, it's shift. Uh, and uh, C to copy it in place. I didn't copy it in place. What is this? Oh, go back and don't do it again. So I wanted to do it in here. So paste. And now it's in the right place. And it's already called Finn, which is very nice. So that's, yeah, that's Finn too. So that's one layer, okay? And that's another layer. It means that if we export, we're going to just have these two layers and not these things inside. So I'll get this out. I can't get this out, yeah. So I'll create a new layer, call this Finn and move this inside. Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, layers all have a different color, so I should have known that I was in the same layer. I was just curiously very organized in this, which I usually am not in Illustrator. <laughs> so I got confused for a moment. So fin, fin two, and we have that, okay. Um, I wanted to fix the fin to make it straight. So I'm going to make that quick fix now. Also, I could probably also, ah, I said also twice, optimize this and make it already straight like this. Ah, oh, I prepare for pain, I know about that. It's going to be painful, yes, I know. Whew, okay, so this is going to be a pain. I don't want to do this. I just go back. I won't do a straight version because it's too painful to do it. Yes. So I'm not up for it. 
<laughs> I'll just delete it and try to deform it in spine. If I change my mind, I can always export that later and make a fixed version. Fix version. Yeah. But as I said, I can at least separate this part of the tuna body. Ah, oh, that's how my files in Illustrator usually look like. Tons of stuff underneath. So, ah, uh, oh, I can also create the group as I wish to do before, which is another nice thing. I'll move this in here so I can look at it in all its magnificence. I'll make this a tiny bit smaller so that it occupies a little less space. Okay, so now this part, I'll call it mouth right oh i have caps lock activate okay and mouth it is so see i'm separating the pieces as said and now this of course it's in the front now it won't stay in the front forever maybe i'll do this so that it's in the back and i'll also separate this part of the eye mm, where was that oh it's just this one great so I have to create a new your PS is full of customization while Illustrator is totally vanilla. Yeah, that's right. Because I never use Illustrator. Or at least I never use it for graphic stuff, so I don't spend that much time to want to invest on Illustrator. I'll probably get Affinity Designer as someone suggested today and the other days as well. As it seems like uh, something I be using more like it's easier that i do something like that mm, okay that's the tagline i have to create a separate layer for the text yeah that's how it's called okay then so i'm having this i also wanted to have these parts as a separate piece so this is and this grouping them great and then i create a new layer which i'll call white eye because it's the white of the eye so much fantasy naming great and what did i do why did it change color something weird is going on so here it had one color. I probably used something. Okay, I have to understand what I did here. Ah, it's the opacity. Let's get it back to 100%. White of the eyes here. Okay, everything looks fine. I wonder why it changed the opacity when I did that. So I get it in here. Perfect. Now that I have this and this, white of the eye pupil, the text stays in there. Maybe the text, I'll just get it behind everything because it's not that vital to have. Also save some random times, it's important to save. Then, as said, what do I have in the eye? Ah, <laughs> that's an old version of the shading that I was trying. Yeah, I never throw everything, anything away. That's an old version of the thing, a straight line. Old versions. I can get rid of those. Also, why is that a tuna on a rocket? It's weird, isn't it? Oh, here we have a sparkle. Sparkle. So, I'll create a new layer called this sparkle and i'll place this inside great then i said i uh, wanted to separate yeah i need this part too and this and then i'm done so this and not this ah, i have to get used to the combinations here okay i'll just create more levels because i know oops what have i done i probably just deleted one yeah so I'll move this in here, and this is the upper fin, 
Wow, what? Upper sheen, great. Saving again. I'm in custom fear that everything might crash from moment to moment. It's not happening since like months, but you know, it happens once. It stays in your mind forever until you forget and then it happens again and then you cry. So that's the theme. Mm, great. And then only the body remains. Tuna body. So now I'll place it in here and I'll reorder this so that it's in the right place again. Yes. So I'm saving. Oh, I have to fix that. Hmm. I'll deactivate the rocket for now and then I'll zoom in so that I can fix this. Better we go. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> I forgot there was that that made car corners. Okay, so instead I select this. Ah, slightly. Oh, it's okay. Okay. -ish. I can do better. Let's get it to intersect. Why? Okay, this is the that frustration one. Ah, I'm moving everything. Okay. I'm starting to scream at the windows. I'm sorry for that. Ah, it's just impossible to center this damn thing. Whatever, good enough. And I'm going to fight this more. I'm just going to be nah, fix this a little bit. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like the turf. And I'm going to change the drawing for that. There. So, I actually did move the thing. Damn me. You see this? I did it. <laughs> so I'll have to go back to before I did this big mistake and then redo it. And I'll select this. Ah, this time was much more Painless. Okay. I hate this. <laughs> All right. Okay, good enough. So, saving and uh, so now I have the body. Yeah, everything is done separate layer. So the tuna is finished. I have to rename this to tuna body and then save and then finish the rocket yeah also all of this stuff is supposed to be behind the rocket except for the fin in the front so it should be like this yeah now let's separate the rocket parts and i'll go on and yeah that's just the body i needed to separate this So if I go in here, I'll create a group. Yeah, that's one. So I'll go here, create a new layer, and I'll call it, oh, how is it, how is it called? Um, rocket wing front. I'm also thirsty already. <laughs> addicted to orange juice. And I'm going to fix you. So rocket wing front and I have to move it in place here. Right? Then I also have the back one to separate and that's an easy one. 
<laughs> I didn't draw that part, I didn't bother. But maybe I did. We'll never know. Group. And uh, create a new layer again. Rocket Queen back. There we go. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> And there, it's inside its own layer. As that having layers for every part that is going to be animated, it's very, very important. Saving again. And, ah oh yeah, that's the eye. Oh, nice. I'm happy I already separated. <gasps> no. I didn't like this. Hmm. Okay, this is a problem. So the problem is that instead of being cut, the eye is just applied on top. Orange? Ah, orange juice. Yeah. Mine is 100% orange juice because I don't like it with sugar. Anyway, the problem, as said, is that if I want to move the eye, I won't be able to because this thing the mask is only present in Illustrator. So in order to achieve the same effect as I have here, since I don't have clipping masks, I don't want to use because I could I don't want to use clipping masks in Spine for this. I'll have to go the hard way and cut this in a different with a different method which is a painful part. But then the rest is basically ready. Ah, yeah, I could separate this as well. And then that's it, yeah. I'll already create a layer for this because it's rocket tail. <laughs> I'd call it tail. I'm basically, this rocket is an animal in my head. It has tail, wings. It's basically a, a bird in disguise. Okay. Ah, I'm right here. I'm gonna move this down. Great. Uh, so I have that as a separate piece. And... I have to cut holes in the red part. Ah, prepare for pain. No, that's one part. And that's, yeah, the other part. So what I have to do is create a copy of this so that it's white underneath yeah <sighs> copy and paste in place then I'll set the color to white without further border ah, I can say it you understood transform because this one is huge and make it smaller it has to cover the eye though, so it has to be precise. Okay, I revert it back to how it was. And I'll just move it in the back. So that's one. I call it white face. I'm actually amused by the fact that I just did a white circle for the eyes. In case you were wondering why. <laughs> I'm really amused. So that goes in here and then it goes after the rocket uh, but before the rocket tail also the rocket wing back goes here okay and that's safe then the white face yeah rocket tail oh yeah i'm still cutting holes I really don't want to do this. <laughs> okay, so I have several layers to cut, which is going to not be very fun. So I'll have to cut these. And also I have to somehow keep these effects that I have here of the shadow 
And I could do that by copying. Yeah, it's just one of Okay, that's doable. So I go back to the uh, rocket here. I'll paste in place. I'll create a clipping mask so that it are not. Why a clipping mask? I'll just do these. Uh, oh no, where is it? Somewhere there's no. I'm used to the uh, English version of Illustrator. Now it's in Italian because I never bothered to change the language back when it updated. And I'm at loss. I can't find the Pathfinder. Maybe it's this? No. Uh, where is that? No. So let me search. How would it be called in Italian? I don't know. Oh, it's this one. Okay. But it's so different. This is the. No, it's not this one. I got confused. Oh, this is a useful one, so I'll leave it there. And go back to the search. Where is it? What's this? No, it's just actions. Oh, it's this one. Yes. No. Basically, opening everything. I'm searching for it. Oh, it's this one. Where is it? I lost it. No, I clicked on it, I'm sure. I have too many of these windows that I don't know what they do. What is this? I don't need, oh, I definitely don't need this. Ah, ah it was here. It was under my eyes and I didn't see it. Uh, that happens. Just place everything in here. Place it here. Bye bye. Now, oh, I can finally do this. So I'll have to make another copy of the white. Copy, paste in place. Now I'll take this and this. Ah, uh, but it's best to have the other dudes okay, different like this, and then I'll ask it. Ah, uh, should have left the other one. Yeah, it's correct, but okay, I'll try to do it this way. Oh, now it's correct. Perfect. And since this white part is ready, can we activate here? Oh, don't tell me. I didn't make a copy of that. Or copy this. <laughs> so I'll copy this and I'll go back here. I'll paste in place. What? No. I'll delete this one. Yeah, okay, everything is still right. Now, I select this tool, I do this, then, no. I just have to say this and this. Then I do. Uh-huh. So it's this and this. Okay, great. Whew. Slowly, slowly, we're getting where we need to be. I'll block this layer just in case and save. We never save enough. 
No, then I'll have to finally select this white part and then use it to cut holes into everything. Not fun. Really not fun. So we're going here. This goes back to where it belongs. Okay, that's the smile. I need to cut the holes. Oh, that's one eye. That's the other eye. That's a random giant ball that I'm going to delete. What is this? Ah, that's actually... <laughs> It's not working. I'm on the English. I, I switched the language to English. I don't know how to my keyboard. So nothing was working anymore. Okay. So it was like that. I don't need that one. Perfect. So I select this and I have to cut the hole with this. Let's see, maybe I can do it in a cheap way. I like cheap ways. I could do it maybe like this. I paste this here. Then I also have to yeah, select, select it. Quick. No, he doesn't want to select it. I can't deselect, like it's fine. When you get used to a tool, it's impressive. <laughs> I tried to use the space bar again. So, oh, okay, I'll have to check the door. I'll be right back. I don't know if you heard that.
Sorry for the wait. <laughs> yeah, I received visitors for a brief moment. So, I'll be back to cutting this dude up. Um, okay. What was I doing? Also, Cruzella sent a pigeon. What is that? It's a cox heart, which I don't know what it is, but it looks cute. Okay. So, here's my dude. Frog layer, I guess. Okay, it's this one. Ah, yeah, I was trying to select the other eye. Which was this. This is the one I want. The other one that I want. You are the one I want. I hate grease, by the way. Just came out. It's one of those films I really can't stand. It's so stupid. Ugly morality, I don't like it. There's not many things that I don't like, but that one I really don't like. Okay, here. <laughs> no, why? Because they are conforming to society. Like, there's this sweet girl, she's herself, she finds love, and um, he also is when he's true to himself. He's a nice guy, but they pretend to be someone they're not just to please other people who like that they are just smoking using that stuff on the hair and so on for fashion for peer pressure and in the end instead of like being true to themselves to themselves she transforms into um, a, a girl she's not she, she conforms and uh, he removes the jacket. Uh, I didn't appreciate that. Like, I find that moral something I wouldn't want kids to be taught. Like, yeah, become somewhere you're not to conform so that your beloved can stay with you because he's too afraid to admit that he likes what he likes. I don't like that. That's my opinion, I'm sorry. You probably... I know there are some that love Grease among you. <sighs> but that is something I really can't get myself to like. Okay, so I'm getting these two white parts to be the same. Could also create a group and copy and paste in place. So I have two copies of this group. Now I'll attempt this thing, this dangerous thing. Um, I'll select this group and this. Now I'll try to create a mask. What if I do this? I should have expected that. <laughs> I'll go back. Couldn't have worked. Mm, instead, I have to create something that encloses everything. I'll do it the dirty way. So like this. And then I'll select... Okay, so this and this is fine. Then I'll create holes. I could do it this way, yeah? Then delete this, delete this. Yes, that's what I want. Then I select this, I select this. And I'll create... No, what have I done? And I'll create... A mask. 
Okay, this is kind of not working. But why? Oh, it worked. Yeah, it actually worked. Let me check. Oh, yes, it worked. Fantastic. I was afraid it wasn't working because I kept seeing the white. Okay, fantastic. Now I have to get the pupils out. So I get one here and the other one is here. Yeah, great job on the pupils. And I'll create a layer, so pupil front and pupil back. I'm almost done. So pupil front. And then it needs to be here. And then pupil back. Sorry, I lost two minutes. What was the topic you didn't like? Esoteric soccer? I don't like grease. <laughs> the film grease because it teaches people to be someone they're not just to please others they are not really required to please in my opinion oh yeah i actually get even angry at that Well, you know, I had this story of uh, in high school we'd make a musical about trees at the third year of middle school and there was the coolest girl who, who did the part of Sandy and so on and so forth and that's another reason not to like that film for me Okay, no, this is good I was afraid this part would go over this one, but it's not because there's the mask, which is perfect. So I guess I finished this. I might want to add um, a trajectory. Yeah, let me do that. So I'll do it as always in a very quick and cheap way. I'll reactivate this. Okay, I have everything in place. I'm adding a layer here and then I'm doing this. It's fine. So I'll make it white and no border so that then I'll tilt it to match the rocket position. I'll call this trajectory. Yeah, no, it's very common to have musicals of Greece even at oratories. Yeah, what's... Why do people love that so much? There's no reason to love that musical. They're just... Uh, whatever. Never seen it though. Yes, better like this. Also, I'm not liking that much musicals, to be honest. So maybe that's part of... The I don't like it reason. Mm. And I wanted to create this. Okay, so that's one. That's because it's so fast. Okay, that's another one. More? Or not? That's the third one. Okay. So this will be my... Ooh. This will be my particles, trajectory, and I have all the pieces I need. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm imagining what else could I need? No, I guess I'm good like that. So I select this without this. Oh, I have to block the rocket. So I'll create a group, a new layer. I'll call this uh, cloud one. And then I'll have cloud two, cloud three. No. Cloud two and cloud three. There. And save. Then I move this oh, first let's make groups and groups then move one in each don't really care which one goes where okay it would be a surprise in the end at least for me because i didn't watch where this went okay so now we're ready to export. You've seen how and why I've separated the parts. I also made sure that I have something back here and that it's so if something offsets there is the rest of the tuna to show. That's important. And uh, I'm ready. So I'll go at that to file script other script then I have to select that script which was in the illustrator here. Then here I make sure, yeah, 100% scale. Let's try that because I have no idea of the scale actually. Yeah, it's all vector, I don't see pixels. And I'll go out with images, fine. Fin scale, 100% perfect. Ignore hidden layers, yes, fine. Write a template PNG, don't need it. Clear output directory for now, I don't need it. Spine JSON, yes. So I click OK and I will start exporting. Yeah, exactly. So let's see the magical exportation here. Created the images folder. Yeah, all the pieces are here. Oh, did I do it like that? Forgot. Cool, whatever. So, okay, totally fine. Let's open Spine. It should appear on this screen, yeah. So while Spine is opening, I'll just say, just to make sure, I keep saving and saving. Ah, I also, I was checking that. What did I do? Where is it? I've lost it. Okay, let me search. Why did I close the image folder? So it's in here, here, uh, here, and here. I wanted to check the final size of this but it's i think it's slightly too small so instead of 100 percent i'll have to make it bigger because i would have loved to have it this size rather than this too tiny so i'll re-export that file oh what have i done <laughs> no file script other script i have to do this every time E illustrator illustrator to spine. Cool. Now the scale will be can I just do it two hundred percent? Let's try if that works. I actually never did it. Yeah, here's no I should have cleared the output directory. Well it's replacing the files anyway, so should be fine. So it's three exporting things. Uh, things still look correct. Oh, now it has a decent size. Do I want it bigger? No, it's not needed bigger. 
this should be fine. So since this is fine, I'm going to open spine. So no, where is the JSON file? Let me re-export for a third time. I'll also You know what? Scripts. I want to copy that script to the script directory so that I don't have to do this every time. I will do it next time I have to. Ah, I should write this fine JSON. Indeed. I see no JSON. Weird. So, Illustrator. It should have output a. Well, I'm gonna do this. Also, meanwhile it's exporting, I'll go to, I'll go in here. Now that's Photoshop, but I want it in Illustrator. I'll go to scripting. No, it doesn't look like that. So Photoshop, the scripts are in presets so if I go to illustrator that's confusing well you know that's weird Okay, whatever. I'll have to do that way. New project. Oh yeah, I was checking. Mm, I closed it again. Great. Give me a second. This should be an inspiration to be tidier. Well, at least it did the template, so that's good enough, I guess. So here's fine. I'm going to save. <laughs> Let's search for the place to save this, which is here. And here. And dollar rocket. I should have my images. Now oh, let's change the path so that it matches the images here. And then I'll import them. <laughs> no, I won't import them that way. Change to English again? No. Great. So now you'll be able to see my hotkeys. Oh. I'll be right back again because someone rang the bell.
Emek. So, my Tuna template is here. I could have it like this. Yeah, this is something I actually never did on stream, so it's interesting. Oops. Yeah, I also changed the hotkey to go back to Control A because I broke the Z, Z Z. C, Z. So I customized the hotkeys on this. Mm. I'll have them like this. And I'll start dragging everything else. So these clouds, I can do them last. Bing. And I can get it in place. So it's best when the script does it for you, but whatever. So I'm going to lower the color of this so that I can see when I place something. Also, make it unselectable, unexportable, just in case. So the fin is for sure something that goes very in the back. Then we have the body of the tuna, which is here. Then we have the white eye. It was here. I don't see the template. So I'm getting it up. Is it not working? The control? Okay, it was in the wrong place. Okay. Then, oh yeah, we had the mouth as well. Ah, that's why, because I loved it. So I couldn't change the full order. Pupil. Cool. Um. What is this? Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't rename it in the end, so it has the Italian name. Text. Rock tail. Rock wing back. White bellies. Then Keep it front. Keep it back. I'll have to adjust them later. Then oh, the upper fin. the three little clouds. I'll just drag them here for now. And then I'll do change the order 
of the template. Um, so that I can check if everything matches. It looks like it's matching. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now it's correct. So I save. Also deep space. Oh. And the white part too. Next to match, saving. Oh, why export destroy your sprite hierarchy relation? You should do this manually. Um, because I usually um, the script exports also a JSON. I don't know why it didn't, but I didn't have time to check why it didn't or restart the illustrate. So I just did it manually this time. Usually it doesn't do. So I'm saving. And I'll. Where's the group right? Here. I'll make it on this world. And say, oh, I forgot one <laughs> fundamental piece. Where is the fin? So the fin is somewhere here. And I can't see it. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Let me go back. Where's the... How do I call it if it's not fin? Upper fin. Yeah, but there's another one. I forgot about that. Where is this? Oh, don't tell me. I called them the same name. That's the reason, probably. It explains everything. Fin tail. Save. I'll try to export again. Maybe this time it will work as intended. Yeah, it's probably the reason. Explains everything. So spine. No, 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 not spine. Lower this here. File export script. Hmm. Other script. And then again, I have to search for the Illustrator script here. Well, at least it remembers that I want that. Clear out the yeah. Everything. Okay. Hoping this time we won't get an error. So we're exporting everything. Yeah! No. For a moment, I thought, but I was wrong. And at least now, ooh. <laughs> of course. So I'll get this up in the drawer there. Fin here. Then I'll activate the template. Ah, oh, the template is not present anymore. What have I done? I can go by eye. I prefer not to go by eye. I'll just re-export the template image. Export. Oh, am I aging this script? No! Okay. Here. 
here. Okay. Now we'll be done. Hi, Lord Patum. <laughs> nice name. Okay, so it supports it normally, like in case of import from PS. Yeah, usually, yes. I no, don't know why it didn't work. Maybe it hates me. Maybe it's because I blocked these layers. Yeah, that could be a reason as well. You shouldn't block the layers. And I remember, yeah, that could be the problem. Locking the layers. So if I go here, I'll try one last time. Okay. Because I remember that locking the layers was causing problems. No, it didn't work. Oh, it's still doing things. Didn't work. Ah, at least I have my template. I'll troubleshoot that. Template, template. <laughs> hey, Socks Brooker. Soxy. So, you're getting at the part where I'm starting to use pine. So lucky you. I was about to align. Oh, yeah. So this fin was definitely not very aligned. There, way better. Okay, now it's very precise. I just have to get the fin tail here. There we go. Then I'll make the template invisible again. Control not working. Yeah, this works. Ah, it's probably shift and not control. It explains everything. So now that I have my guys here in position, there will be something like this the entire scene. You know, pew, like that. I can start the rigging and then animation of this. I wanted to make them do like some sort of circle, something like that. That's the idea. And uh, maybe have him fall from the sky and he catches in full speed, pew, like that. That's more or less. <laughs> Great. So let's create some bones since we're at this point. Everything is like it should be. I'll close the drawer there, I'll close the images node, I'll save just because saving is good. And I'll create. So we don't need them. In order to achieve that effect where it falls, it's caught, we'll have two independent skeletons, one for the tuna and one for the rocket. And uh, where is the pivot of the tuna? It's probably like this is more the tail. Maybe this part, so I'll have rig start from here and then go here and then from here here because here we have the arm and it's like the main part of this character this very specific character i want also to have a tiny control here to move the fin around and maybe here as well one here one here to control these two sides then i'll turn this into a mesh so that it can be elastic and join this and this part of the rig 
I might need a transform constraint a lot to make it oh uh, yeah maybe yes to make it follow the rocket when the rocket is moving thirsty Also to be able to move the eye so that he can have this cool yeah I'm here I'm saving the situation and he looks at us and maybe blinks and uh, then looks straight and goes its way <laughs> no problem socks booker or soxy I don't know how I should call you yeah it just fell I'm, a, I'm not even capable of drinking without doing something wrong so oh, probably this is an easy piece to create a mesh of so I'll just start with that uh, creating meshes is actually very easy you start one point you usually do the outer um, border first then you close and then you create the other points, you create points where they're supposed to be lines. So one line here to connect this point and this, just like the drawing. And here the line is missing, which would make the drawing deform in the wrong way. So we'll have to manually add it like that. And now this will deform nicely if we deform it in 3D. Oh, sucks or sucks, it's fine, great. So that's one. Here we have the fin. We can also turn this into a mesh. Oh, but I'll do that later. Instead. So. Oh, I definitely don't need. <laughs> long on the space but oh, I'm also on the wrong side I'll move myself okay that's the wrong screen oh this is the right screen there this is my place right a more here So that I'm not in the way. And so when I'm in animate world, am I covering important things? I guess not that much. Great. Hmm. I'm not really used to use the mouse. So weirdly enough, my arm is starting to ache. <laughs> I'm probably not in the correct position for using the mouse. So, bonus creation. We said the tuna is an easy one. We have a people here. I'll call this tuna. And then I'll select this. Now I'll create two bones. I would normally just create one bone, but since it's already slightly tilted, I prefer to have two. Then I select this and create one bone here. And oops, no. So I'm selecting the parent bone, and then I click and drag to create the new bone like this. And if I press Control to select an image before creating the bone. The bone that it's created will have the name of the image that I selected and the image as a child, which is a huge time saver. So this is a tip you want to remember if you're new with Spine. 
all. Okay. Then, uh, here is like this. And I'll probably want to have. Ah, oh, that's all. I'll reconvert this not to a mesh. I'll select here. Ah, that's because I want to create a mode. Okay, so I select with control and then I press. In this case, I just want to have one point here. And then as a main pivot, oh, maybe not a point, I'll redraw this. I press Alt and then I click and drag to create the new bone. So I can have one bone here, and then I can have another bone here, for example. It doesn't really need me to touch the... A bone doesn't really need to touch the other bone, the parent bone. Although uh, I visually like it to understand hierarchies, and also it's good if you have uh, IT constraints, because in that case, the fact that the length of one um, bone matters in the distance from one bone to the other otherwise it's not that important oh. okay so this is it I could probably maybe correct this bone here so that it has the same rotation and translation of this one more like this. Yeah, that's why I wanted to keep it inside. But whatever. Let's find either, find either way. So I'll select again my tuna bone. And then I'll create a bone to control the head. I'll make it end here. Then I'll create a bone for the eye in general. And then one for, ah, let's do it like this. So here it is. First I select the bone, then I select by pressing control the image. I click more or less in the center, and that's the white of the eye. Then I select this. I can make it a child. So first I select this one, and then I click the image, click in the center, and I created the pupil bone. So I make a mesh for one arm on a character. Is there an easy way to copy to another arm the mesh? You can duplicate it and then flip it on the other side. Um, I did this for the rig of the dudes. If you watch on the previous uh, videos that I did on this screen, there's a search for the part where I rig the arm. I'll link it to you later in case you don't find it to, to see how it's done. Oh, but now that I think about it, I'm going to do it for this arm as well. So if you have patience, um, I'll also make a duplicate. It's very easy. You first do your mesh. Oh, when it's the moment, I'll show you. Or, oh, it's actually so easy that I can do it now, you know? So mesh, edit mesh, new mesh. And I create this. Ah, I don't like it. Okay, I won't be able to rotate this part at all because it would break. Uh, maybe the straighter part here, it's the one that has the more chance to turn out not completely messed up. So since this is a painful thing to do, okay, I'm adding more lines here because it's the part where I want it to bend more. Also here, because this other part it's not going to deform a lot because it's curved as well. Then I'll modify this because I want the lines to be 
closer to my image especially since this is slightly curved so um, see these spikes here the spikes when they deform they will take the image with them so the closer they are to the actual image the less you'll see that effect like this one as well these are but if we're too close we cut the image out and that is something we don't want okay here i can get it closer too mm, pixel level i love it feel like I have total control when I see the pixels, you know. Then I can get this part closer too. And that's it. And see if there's part that I'm hiding here. Well, whatever. So this is cool. Now I'll create the I have the mesh, I'll go to weights, so the weights panel pops up, and I'll go to, oh, I'm covering it. Let's move myself to another place. I also momentarily detached from the ground, yeah. Something I do. Then bind, and I select one and two. Fin and fin two. Now, it automatically did some weights, usually these are automatic weights, sometimes they are good, sometimes they are not, so let's just check if we're lucky or not. We're not lucky. So, um, testing in setup no mode like I just did, is something you shouldn't do. You shouldn't. So, instead you always go to animate mode and then test your rig like this. So, for example, we make a testing animation here. I select this, click rotate in the middle, and I'll take it down so that I can keep seeing this animation going. Okay, I made it slower by selecting the keyframes here on the dog sheet and then dragging to enlarge them. Then I do this, views are not, I don't need it. I just switch to animate mode. I select the weights and I adjust the weights from that. So, um, another way to fix this is select everything like this and then just press move. In this case, since it's a pin and I want it to be smooth and nice, it's going to work. I know it works. Okay, so going back, saving, and since this is fine for me, I like it, I can do this. So I have to copy the bone that is going to, that has the mesh inside, because I have, when I, uh, in order to have the new mesh, follow the new bones, you have to copy both at the same time, otherwise this is not going to work. So let's check. I have the fin, the second fin, and here the mesh, and they're all part of this bigger bone. So what I do now is I click duplicate. Yeah, I want to duplicate the keys as well. So then I move this, <laughs> yeah, this second bone here, and I have a second arm, and if everything went well, yeah, see, they are following the other arm. So that's how you can do it. And then if you want to flip them, pay attention. If you flip them normally like this, oh, it actually worked. What did I do? Okay. Um, usually, uh, no, it didn't give no, any problems. But when it gives problems, and just one bone flips but the others don't flip then you can then you can create a parent bone and the flip the bone instead of flipping this one can i just go back yeah 
this Ooh, Italian keyboard. Okay. So I want this to be in this position here and then move it backwards so that it's hidden because this is an arm that we'll only see when he falls from the sky. Now I'll read the comments. For the first time we see your right side while you work. Ah, yeah, because I usually am on this side, right? <laughs> That's the other screen. Yeah, I'm working from that screen this time. That's true. <laughs> Didn't pay attention. Since I changed the top, it doesn't matter. It's not like I have a good side or a bad side. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Now, what was I doing? Yeah, I was doing that. And I was about to create some more meshes. New mesh. So I can start here and draw the straight line that I want. And then have another straight line here. Here, ah, that's not good. That works, okay. So let's check my mesh. Oh, it's perfect, it's how I wanted it. Great. I can also create here some more in between points. Oh, but I liked this one here. Okay, so I'm creating some middle equally spaced points in this case. Now, this part here, I'm leaving so much distance on this and it might not work and I might have to correct it. So I'm first doing it, but I'll probably, I want to see how it turns out. So next I go to the weights mode and I bind this, this, this. Let's go in unwrit mode and create a dummy animation or we just use this animation here. Well, it's doing what I wanted, but I wanted it also like uh, this to be slightly smoother than that. Also, notice that the weight panel is gone. It just restarts mine. Oh, I finished the book. I also finished almost the oranges. You see, in a month or so, I'll just be drinking tea non-stop. Now it's the time of orange juice, though. I'm so glad I got this software. Oh, that's great. Um, ah, yeah, that's what I was about to do. So I select this and I want it to be influenced more by the body, meaning that it will move less. So yeah, I wanted this effect. See, this way it sticks in place. I'll create a cure for it. Or instead of creating the cure myself, I can as always select the points and then click smooth, 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 smooth until it becomes super smooth. Yeah, like that. And then I'll do the same here. Smooth, 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 smooth. Okay. So it becomes more like a fin. Also, I don't want the outer fin influence, so I remove it. I have it also here, that's no good. So I remove that influence like this, erase it and then remove it completely. The 
then let's test it again. Hmm. This one could be better though. Oh, more like this. So bows. Oh yeah. Expected this. So wait, that's because I didn't add here another one. So I, uh, as foreseen, <laughs> I'm going to correct this. I'll just delete here, create, create it here, boom, done. So go here. I'll just do wait and see when I'm distant from that, you see that I get the worse results. So that's why it's good to stay close. Also see that there's a bit of a curve here. So this is what wrecks the result of the mesh. To get a better mesh, remember always stay tight to the borders of the mesh. So I'll do this now. Get this closer, closer, this too. This it's close as well. Ah, super zoom. <laughs> and there we go. I could actually have done this closer too, but whatever. I still do it. Ah, no. So I have to be sure to be in edit mode, otherwise I'll break the mesh. As I said, the closer the better. And then I'll create here a conjunction. Perfect. So I save and go to animate mode, test it again. I am liking the results better. I'll try to let you see how it was before. So it was more like this. Ah, oh, that's when I decided I had to change this part. And that's after I changed it. Although to get the perfect smoothness, I should add more points or closer to each other. Uh, but that's something that it's not going to cut that much. It's fine for me this way, so I'm not going to change it. Hmm, okay. I see some weights influence here. Spine always tries to add them. I try them when you least expect them. Okay, so I save, and that part is done as well. What is he doing? Hi. It's like he's super cheerful. He, he was like, ah, what? He's like that. Oh, look at that without bones. Okay. Ah, like this. It's very exciting. Okay, I'll do something else that it's using, which is this. Edit mesh. New. Oh, do I need a new mesh? Actually, no. I could just keep it like that. Mm, no, I'll redo it for the sake of learning. So here, we just go follow this part. Then I know that here we could go inside, but instead we'll just reach the tip of every part, and then. I'll close this here. Hey, I could. This part is hidden, so I'll just delete this point. No! <laughs> I deleted too many points. Save. And this mesh is done as well. Ah, I didn't check the mesh flow. So the mesh flow could be better. 
I'll try to do it like this instead. Mm, and this is good enough. Because I don't want weird distortions. I could add one more here. I um, think it's good enough. I just didn't want weird lines. So I can bind this, but I have to create the bones first. Since I didn't create the bone yet, I'll do it now. And I'll just create one bone here on top to control the tip. I could do a full length bone, but I prefer to have the things that flap, uh, that have different shapes, just as a point bone instead. So I'll bind it here and here. Oh, they are both called tuna, which is not good. So I'll call this tuna fin head to know what that controls. And this, instead of being called tuna free, needs to be called tuna head. There we go, and I save. It's also very cute that he doesn't have a tongue. Ah, uh, yeah, it's just plain uh, pinkish. Okay, what else? <laughs> I, I sometimes think about the fact that this is a damn tuna on a damn rocket. It's funny. So I'm almost turned on, on the wrong, wrong side of this. I'm going to move myself so that it looks like I'm looking at the file instead of away. Okay. So. I did that? Ah, I was about to... I didn't? Then I'll try to move this around. Excitement! I'm never going to change that because it's so cute. Now, I'll select these three points. We need to be influenced by the head completely. And I'll test the movement of this. So, I'm not sure. I, I guess I lower the influence of this one. There. Okay. <laughs> I can't drink today. Um, I'll, have <laughs> I'll be right back. Shame on me. Shame on me. Great. I just did. It's good that you didn't see that. Disaster, now everything is wet. Okay. And I'm back. Here we go. I like it. Okay. Look at that. I can use it to have his expressions like his. Whoa! I'm surprised. Yeah. Saving. And this, I'm going to turn it into a mesh as well. Egg mesh, new mesh. <laughs> the mesh is like that. Trying to keep it close. Now this is my mistake. But since I did it and I didn't want 
to redo it. I'm just going around it like this. If you were a person with making this 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 and you would re-export this, I should. I'm not doing it. Okay. wonder if I can add some controls to make him talk in some way. Uh, talk, open the mouth, close it, do what fishes do, like that. Bam. Okay, so uh, what's important is that the flow is correct. No, it's not correct, <laughs> lol. So I have to add some more points for this. Here. And here I'll need another point as well. Because it's all cured. Then, if that part deforms, I don't want this part to be influenced by it, so I'm kind of isolating these marks by creating lines that protect them. Okay. Well, these lines will deform with everything. Saved. And now I'll add all of the bones here to the tuna tuna. Buddy. Buddy, buddy. I keep repeating. Okay. Bind. Animate. So it kind of <laughs> has the wrong values in here. Yeah, that's me. So I'll have to correct that. But it now can also raise his head up. Whee! That's so cute. I should add a control for the mouth as well before it's too late. So I'll create a control that goes from here to the mouth here, like this is fine. So I'll be able to control that. I'll call it mouth. I'll make sure that it's parented. I just press P to the head. You probably don't see my pops. Then I'll also make sure that the mouth is parented to the head. Now, uh, and now everything follows as it's supposed to. So I can save. Look at him. Pew, pew, pew. I'll move him away so that I can check the body and the bending and everything. And this part is the nicest. So, weights. Let's fix this weights. Beautiful mess. Smoothing is getting things worse. We'll do it the old school way. So. problem is definitely this. Let's see if we can fix this by giving a different flow to the mesh. So I'll go to the tuna body, edit mesh, and just remove this point and this point and try to make it in a slightly different way. So I'll modify this. Oops, no. And I'll create the mesh going more 
like this. More space out. Then I'll get this part closer. And save. It's slightly improved. Hmm. So this part doesn't really need deformation, but this one does. This one needs to slightly be influenced by that. So maybe this one too, after all. So what we're doing now is setting the meshes manually so that they are smooth. Okay, there were weights that really had nothing to do with our poor tuna. So we'll first get this right in one direction and then we'll turn it into the opposite way. Turn the tail and fix it also in the other direction. It's also it makes sense to have the same values from one side to the other side. So if this is 14, you get this is 14 too. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So this is 52. Again, this is a similar amount as well. No to not head influence. And it's already looking better. I see that here there could be a slight improvement. Oh but the mesh flow is the same. Seeing from a distance, it's good enough. So, one side is fine. <laughs> it was fine only in that specific pose. So, if we turn it this way, like this, it looks very ugly. So, it also looks like he went on a diet. I will have to fix that. Ooh, it's probably deep below that it's not in the best position. I'll check. I'll check that. This should not be influenced by head that much. That's the difficult part of rigging in the opposite direction of a cure. It's just not never going to look really good.
going to change the position of the bones because it's wrong at the moment. Yeah, what tricked me was the position. So in order to move a bone and then make sure that this bone comes back exactly to where it is, I'll do this little trick. I select translate, I move to uh, I change the axis to parent mode, I select the tuna bone, then I create a new bone, and the new bone is placed exactly where this bone is. But then I'll parent this bone to the root. Now I can move the tuna around. When I'm done with it, I'm going to parent it to this bone and change the coordinates to zero and zero to get it back exactly in that place. That's a, a trick. So, I probably need, as I said, to redo this, so I'm going to remove the weights so that I can move this safely. Also compensate for bones and images so that I don't wreck those. This is slightly more in the center of the image if I can. There we go. Then I'll try to reparent the various pieces. So first this, then the head, then this, and this. Slightly better. understand the one per I'll use prune to get rid of all the little weights that have no room to be there. Oh I also wanted to bind this bone for these parts and this so that it can talk. This will be influenced by the mouth this too. So if I move the mouth, oh yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. The sad reality. <laughs> if I rotate this this way it's not going to look good. So instead of doing it like this, I could remove the mouth and do it with a point like that one. Here, press X, yes, and I'll create a point to control this part, which I'll call mouth. Find it here. Then I'll bind this. Ah, it was getting in the way. So. Bind. 
Yeah, I added the last four. And I'll change the weight here. This to be closed. I can do it this way. Looks past it. Oh, it's moving also parts of the body that I didn't want to move. Yeah, so I have to make sure that that part mm, it is elated and mesh. Yeah, see, that's the wrong flow. So I have to add a couple points to ensure that doesn't happen. Um, create. No, actually, ah, oh, yes, yes. Just create one point here and everything should be solved. Mm -hmm. Still moving, but because I have to lower that influence, how it works. It's getting dark, isn't it? <laughs> I see that it's super dark. I have to get better lamp. I got it. After the other one broke. I will. Oh! I also missed the chat. So. Everything will be stored on YouTube servers forever. Yes, uh, it's about when I um, the orange juice problem, isn't it? Wait, how come you had preview of everything for a second? Oh, I don't know. Ah, it was the overlay of the. Um, it was the template. I did this, and then it started. And this happened, and then I went away, and the image disappeared. Tuna Rocket Tuesday, yeah. Hi, puppy. And so that's it. Mm, my wrist. I'm so used to the trackpad. One of the few people who actually uses trackpads a lot. Yeah, I made a template PNG and used that. Ah, saving. So, be right back. I'm just taking a small pause and I'll be soon back.
my wrist hurts. Doing the two now. And it's one of a body. Delight from. Hi, Trini! <laughs> oh, it's nice seeing you. Oh, here I can read the chat room. I should place the chat room up. Yeah. Oh, it's like that. Okay. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, I'm tired. I'm answering to myself. I'm tired. And I'm drinking. So, have you been liking this colored ember? And what was I doing here? This part could be influenced slightly by the mouse. What if I translate it? Did something bad happen? Let's test. Oh, amazing! Amazing! <laughs> yeah, super interesting. Ah. <laughs> uh, I don't know how I'm keeping this streak up and posting every day. I'm absolutely not a social person. The fish is talking for me. I should finish the, the Maverick so I can keep talking and moving his lips. It's fun. Edit mesh, new mesh. Ah, like this. I need something closer to this point. Chun chun chun, let it mesh. Maybe I can leave it at that. And then bind it. Let's see. It looks happy. <laughs> well, almost. So this definitely needs to stick with the head. So I can open the mouth to a gigantic amount like this. So as always, since this part is cured, it sucks a bit. Maybe I could add some points to the mesh to make it tighter to this place, but I guess that you're seeing why I keep repeating that it's best to have a rig with something that it's not cured. Like the more points I add, the tighter fit I get, but it's not the greatest thing. Ah, that's decent. Thanks for saving me, Rocket! Now we can fly away! 
like that. So I don't like this part. I wonder if I should just try to remove... Oh, but it's in that place. I can't really remove it. Oh, it's looking so bad. should add more points. I don't want to add more points though. Just to make this part smoother. But not as much as I wished. Oh, so this is the mouth. This is the tuna head. At least the tuna head doesn't have anything to do with my poor tuna here. And instead I use these finally free at work i finished all the stuff for the next update and this saturday i'll start my holidays which consists of more work what kind of holidays are those <laughs> some more influence of the tuna head instead. Hmm. Let's check this and it works. Cool. Hi Mimi! Hi Erika in chat. Ah, freelance. Speaking doggy outside. I'm hating this. It's a good thing that it's just a tuna and a rocket and not much else. I'm 
Catalan and the people here in Spain say that we are super greedy and that's true but I just moved to a new apartment and I need the money <laughs> I know right I know the feeling hmm. ah yeah Old people are discussing near the window, near my window. Add more points. How did I end up in this hell? The dice goddess, hi morning. I'm doing a tuna on a rocket. And the particularity of this tuna is that I did it with Illustrator. So I used the Illustrator script to export something for once. My god, so many points! How many points do we have? What? Okay. Hey, the dice goddess, how are you? I'm stressed. <laughs> yeah. Things are a little crunchy at work and I'm done. Uh, two artists! Wow! Oh no. Yeah. Sorry for laughing for the stress part, it's because Trini also is stressed, he's not getting much of vacation, I'm tired as well, so I guess it's the period. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to move this that much, but I'm doing so much work for this. So it's either this or we could simplify and just remove all of these points. Uh, but you know, no, it's impossible. If only I had done this in a straight way instead of tilted. Damn me. I never learn from what I teach. That's painful. Ah, for reference, we have three artists usually including me, so it's just me right now. Mm. What happened to the other two? Are they on vacation or are they sick? I got hope for them that they are on vacation actually. Don't want to wish anyone to be sick. It's convention season here in the US. Ah, I heard something about PAX something. Is that it? 
So they're out selling wares at conventions. Ah. Yeah, it makes sense. What? Ah. Whoops. I can't save it. Perfect. For some reason, I think I didn't think you were in the U.S. Huh. And yet. Not good. to just turn these so cute so tiny hello i'm a fish i drive a rocket saves me yeah i'm fine with that then what else i was frozen eh, we had something is happening here Let's fix some head weights. Oh, maybe I can do it in a cheap way like this. But how did it know? Why only three bones for the body? Because the body is not going to move that much. What would I need more bones for? Now I have like one, two, three, four, five bones for the body. What did I do these points for? I'll have to remove them in the end because they're useless. I'm not using them. I'll see later. Anyway, the fish is probably finished. The fish is finished. Let's check a little bit. Here. All right. So, if I want him to blink, I'll have to turn the bone, this bone here, so that it matches with the blinking direction. <laughs> as weird as it sounds. So it would be something either like this. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, and I thought I did this thing in the back better, but I didn't.
I can't make him blink like I thought I would. But I could always do it the dirty way and just duplicate the white of the eye and then move it to here. Here. Where did I place the other one? Yeah, here. And then if I make him blink, not like this. Oh yeah, like this. Then I select the white of the eye here and I choose another color for this. And the color I want is more like that blue in the background. So more like this. Oh, it's very similar. So I copy that. Now I go back here. I go the white of the eye and change the color here. Ah. Okay. <laughs> it has the color of evilness. What the? Wait, why are you? Why is it so dark? I'll just try the other light blue instead. Reactivate. Why is that so dark? Ah, now I know. <laughs> okay, now it makes all sense. Now I'm reading the chat room. Looks like someone punched the poor thing in the eye. Yes, I know, right? <sighs> poor little guy. Starting to get tired. Now he's sleeping. Oh, but looks like he's being like, let me tell you a secret. Like that. I prefer him when he's more happy and cheerful, though, so I'll remove that key that I had. Oh, the white of the eye was deactivated. very happy fishing so now I'll get him back to where it was originally so remember in order to get him back in position which was here I parented the tuna bone to the bone copy that we made earlier and then I'm going to type in zero and zero and he's back exactly where we left him. I can leave this bone for now, it might be useful later. And it's the rocket part. <sighs> Did I finish? Yeah, I finished it. So for that I wanted to also create a constraint to keep that in position. Oh, also for those of you that tuned in just now, um, this is the design of an old sticker, old, uh, a sticker that I made earlier, and it was made in Illustrator. I made a first part in which I show how to prepare uh, graphics in Illustrator to get into Spine, imported it in here, and um, I was about to do an animation where maybe this tuna falls from the sky and then the rocket catches it actually since it's far from the sky i should make him like be desperate about it so i should have one control here to control the mouth 
Yuppie! Hi, Zebra! Um, I'll add that control. And I'm honestly, I'm feeling tired. I don't know, probably finish this stream a bit earlier. So I can also post the new Skeletember post that I have almost ready, I just have to record it. So um, I created the bone, I need to make sure that the bone is parented to the head, okay it's parented, and then I'll go in here, oh yeah, I'll add, I'll bind this bone as well. Well, hi, Debro. And then I'll move this like up here and change the weight so that they match that. Okay, I see the eye in the back doing weird things, and that is not good. Okay, I'll try to move this so that it starts being sad. Returning it like this. I could need more points for that. Just like this, it's just happy. I need despair. Give me some despair. Yeah, I have to add more points to this. Edit mesh. Create. Then I'll make sure that this part is not considered. Yeah. Then I'll add a couple more bones here. So many points. And then back to animate mode. Yeah, I'm starting to see the sufferings. Like, why did you make me a live mother kill me? I'm saving this as a screenshot, I like that. My beautiful baby. No, okay. There, I have my screenshot. Now let's make the despair more evident. I'm actually having slightly too much fun. So here, happy version. Then I drag this down. <laughs> yeah, that's the despair I had in mind. So this is always originated from the fact that I drew the mouse in a curve instead of straight. So learn from my mistakes. Hmm, let's see, what about scaling? Okay, I, I had fun. I also don't want this point here to be influenced that much. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
Maybe just a little bit. This is the face of despair. instead a little experiment if I do this I drag this down and then I just this about being able to move the tail. Yeah, I can even do these. It's best to do it this way. So it looks like it's swimming towards us. Okay, this is cool. Now, let's move on to the rocket. Can we add some cool controls to the rocket, maybe? Maybe yes. Hmm. Create. Okay, the rocket should have the people here because well it starts from there all right i'll call this bomb rocket And then I wanted to add the controls to the 3D tilting and the eyes, and that's it. So actually, to do those controls, I would probably need just one bone here and one bone here at the end then i can have yeah this i can link this here so that it's attached to it so the sparkle goes there okay and then it's just the eyes that need to be moved. Okay, so I'll create a I select this new transform constraint and I select this one um, rocket beam. 
which stands for inverse constraint. I press match so that this bone doesn't move from its place. And then I type in minus 100 and save. Now I will do this. I'm going to set up mode and I'll set a new animation where I'll translate this here. And it will go like this and then like this. And let's see how it turns out. No, baby, don't cry. Too much noise. Fine. Now I'll have to create a mesh for each piece. I'll start from the biggest one. Create a new mesh. Okay. Now, it's fundamental to keep this as simple as possible, but this damn thing is curved as well. I drew it. I should have known. No. I'll do it this way. Stop it as well. And then just get this. Okay, then I'll create the points here. Oh, for sure, I want to be able to control the eyes that I have here. So I'm creating points where the eyes are, so that they are connected. Then, I want to more or less keep this part like this and then this part can deform almost as a single piece then what else I might want here points This could work or not. Let's see how it works out. I'll have to close the window soon, not so much noise. What is wrong with people? Okay, so I'll bind this to the two bones. Yeah, <laughs> this web thing is cute actually. We had to have a cute part in this, didn't we? At least I. Okay, then I raise the implants on this. Then ah, stop. Okay, I'll try to give the same influence on the things that are more or less at the same level, so to speak. Which is not so strong influence. Now when it's up, Of course, there is no drawing of that part. 
which makes things a bit harder. I want it to move very slowly. Okay. I think I'll do this. Improve the the shape of this this way Slightly better. If only I did separate the head from the body, it would be even better. Create here more points around the head So what I understood is that this part here can't go beyond the rocket, like in this case, because it's impossible for it to reach it. Oh, so that's like the maximum angle. And I want to add this 
here and here. So there is one problem as well. First I get it to be in a similar place, then I adjust the various weights. Oh, feels already more 3D. <laughs> okay, about 100% speed. Hmm. I want to do it also for the one in the back. Mesh, a bit mesh, new mesh. Done. Then I bind it to the front and the back one. it up this part was probably better or like this yeah to also so that one clearly is too strong so I'll make a mesh out of this new mesh This one here. Probably a little better the rocket.
adjusting this to to give more perspective to those rays. I want to see if I can add a point to control this part. So yeah, hmm. whatever. Probably add one more here. So that I can make it more circle like. So add those points here as well. Starting to like how it's coming out. Then I'm turning this into a mesh as well. Find it here and here as always. Then I have to change the weights. Sticking out too much.
now I'm making the white ball in the background white paint I'm just turning into a mesh and then binding it to the two of them and then adjusting the weight so that it doesn't go around the side And there's the eyes that need to follow as well. Hmm. So I'll make the eyes children. the fish doing it's like oh, like that yeah hmm. so I have to correct the weights to be a bit more precise here you could actually just simplify this part by editing the mesh here the tuna is a zombie now trying to eat the rocket brain yeah my handbag what did I mean yeah, that's what happened, poor tuna. And slightly better, but... My problem is this. Adjusting the weights, I have to use one more point. 
here. enough I wanted to do something more but I guess I'll finish this and do the animation in the next stream because it's very dark I still don't have a proper lamp and we'll end up not seeing anything and I prefer to do it next time with more light and when I'm not as tired. So I'll close this stream for now and uh, see you next time on the next stream. Thank you for seeing me. Look forward to Skylander and bye bye. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah.